Welcome back! Um, we have a little bit of time left. I'm gonna see if I can do this. If not, well, then we'll be in trouble. Let's check the desert, which might be dangerous. You know, there's an unusual little cactus beside that large rock. The most hideous looking being has made its appearance. It's Medusa! Your eyes fall upon a face so hideous, so gruesome, that the horror of it is beyond description. People who look upon the face of Medusa with her hair of writhing live snakes turn instantly to stone. Suddenly, your body feels cold and stiffens hard as a rock. You sure make a nice statue, Gwydion. Well, that's not nice. Okay. Desert is dangerous. However, uh, we did spot a small cactus, which looked interesting. Uh, it's actually the cactus over there. And we want that for the spell, so obviously we're going to have to go into the desert. But how to take care of Medusa? Well, if you know anything uh, about Medusa, you know that the general way to uh, deal with uh, her is to show her her own reflection. So she turns to stone. And it just so happens we have a mirror with us. So I'm going to type this already in preparation. So otherwise I probably won't be quick enough. Then turn around. The most hideous looking being has made its appearance. It's Medusa. There we go. Averting your eyes, you aim the wizard's hand mirror at Medusa's face. A scream pierces the air as she beholds her own hideous reflection. Then, nothing. You dare to look. Medusa has turned herself to stone. Yay! We're helping people. Even as a statue, Medusa is indescribably ugly. And um, there was an interesting cactus here, so let's take a look at that. Now we are free to do so. You notice an unusual little cactus besides that large rock. Which we'll also need. Lots of stuff we have. Uh, but we have three minutes until the wizard comes home. Which um, means it's probably a good idea to get back, because we need a chance to hide our stuff, because he won't like it if we have any of this stuff with us when we come back. So, uh, we don't have time to go do any uh, spells. I don't think we actually have any of the... Um, all of the ingredients for any of the spells yet. Well, we... Mm, no, I don't think so. Yes, we do, actually. Causing a deep... No, sorry. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not going to do any spells at this particular point in the game. We are going to... Um, head back, and I'm saving here just in case... Um, actually, let's save under a different name just in case I end up not making it and having to do it again and hurry a bit more. Um, what I am going to do in order to speed up my return a little bit is use the magic map. The magic map's faded ink has brightened, but only in those places where you have been. You can see that there's a lot more of them now. Um, and yes, the land is circular, so if you go south from the um, <laughs> the bear, the bears. You end up uh, north of the mountain where Manalon lives. Strangely enough, I thought it wasn't circular, but I apparently remembered that wrong. It is not circular in the west-east direction, though, because if you just keep on going west, you'll end up in the desert and get stuck there and die. If you keep going east, you'll end up at the sea. If you try to swim that, you'll die. Okay. Now, although we cannot teleport back up the mountain, we can at least teleport to the uh, base of the mountain, saving us a little bit of time. And so it shall be. 
Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Um, okay. Up the mountain. It really is cruel that they make us do this multiple times. I mean, they could have just uh, let us teleport up to the wizard's house, which would have been a lot easier. I think that once you have the... Oh, damn it. Once you have the random teleportation spell, you can um, that one might end up at the, the wizard's house sometime, so you could use that. Although you might have to teleport like 27 times before you end up at the place you want to be. This is harder to do on the way back up. Um, I might be cutting this a little bit close, but... We should be safe, I think. And I still haven't fallen here, knock on wood. Uh, okay. I think we're, uh, back in time. But of course, Mananen will be, uh, rather suspicious if we... have any uh, stuff with us that we're not supposed to have. So we need a place to hide it, and the place to do that is under your bed. Um, yep, that works. You get on, the, on your hands and knees and quickly shove all your possessions under the bed. They will be safe from the wizard's sharp eyes here. And now we are carrying nothing. However, I happen to know that um, the wizard will be hungry when he comes back. So we want to get um, at least one item of food. So let's um, let's get the... Uh, I think the bread is safe to give to him. <laughs> Dropping to your knees, you reach under the bed and retrieve it. And now we have only bread. You can feed him the porridge at this point. Do so, and the game will be unwinnable. And he doesn't question where you got the porridge, but anyway. So now there's nothing to do but wait for the wizard to arrive. And this is one thing where this game does get a bit annoying. Because we have to wait until he arrives. And when he's here, we have to wait until he leaves again. And you basically cannot do anything while he is here. Which is very, very annoying. And he's back! I have returned, Gwydion, and I'm ready to eat. I think if you didn't take the uh, food from the... If you didn't take any, uh, the food from under your bed, you can go and retrieve it now. He's not that impatient, fortunately. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Okay. Um, give bread to wizard. You place the food on the dining table before the hungry wizard. Ravenously, he devours every bit of it. He doesn't actually eat very quickly. However, that doesn't matter. Right now, we're just trying to uh, spend time as much as possible, because we're going to have to wait until he leaves again before we can do anything else. Which, as I said, is annoying. It's obvious the wizard enjoyed his meal as he lets out a satisfied belch. He rises and leaves without so much as a thank you. The bastard. Doesn't even have proper table manners. 
At this point, there really is nothing we can do. Except, uh, wait. Well, since we have time to spare, I guess I can show you what the other chores look like. So let's uh, dust. Oh, he's going to work. Neat! You aren't to be in this room without my express permission, Manalan says gruffly. Go find something to do. Your kitchen is filthy. Go clean it now. Oh. I wanted to dust here, stupid old man. Now it turns out I have to clean the kitchen again. And yes, we have to do that. If we don't, he will punish us. And I don't want to be punished. I don't like being punished. So, um, let's get the broom. And clean the kitchen once more. At least we're smarter than Mickey, and we don't try to bewitch the broom to clean by themselves. Because that didn't really end well, as you may recall. I think rather than being filthy, this place is probably now the cleanest room in the entire house. Cleaned it twice, in one day, within half an hour. Okay, let's see if I can uh, show you the dusting chore here now, if he's not here anymore. There we go. And then Gwydion dusts the desk. Not actually necessary that we do this, because the wizard didn't tell us, but, well, what else can I do? We have the time. Doesn't give you any points to do unnecessary chores, unfortunately. Would have been a nice way to go over the maximum or something. Another chore, which is sort of nice, um, is feeding the chickens. Which they like. I guess these chickens are sort of uh, Gwydion's only friend. At least I would uh, ma make friends with the animals if I was the slave of an old wizard. And since the cat isn't exactly uh, friendly, that leaves the chickens. Well, they have their bellies full now. Of course, we cannot go down. Um, see if we can badger the wizard or something. Get some interesting punishment. Just to spend some time. There's that detestable cat again. The only remaining chore, if I'm not mistaken, is emptying the chamber pot. Which is dirty business, but has to be done. I think he just throws it out the window, which hopefully means hopefully nobody is down there. Wrinkling your nose in disgust, you throw the smelly content of the chamber pot out the open window. What a way to make a living. You don't even really make a living, unless you consider it, you know, being kept alive. Okay, um... I'm gonna go downstairs. Hello there. He's just checking in on me sometimes. He's evil like that. I know. Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? Do you have anything better to do? All I want you to do, old man, is... um. Leave. I guess I'm going to wait for that.
I'm going to bed, Gwydion. Do not disturb me. Very strange. I either remembered that wrong or... I don't know. Well, now that he's gone, we'll continue in the next video.